Now, when I dropped out of uni for this exercise, the teachers had gave me the movie Inglorious Bastards. Let me show you the poster that I did back then. Shit's crazy, you know what I mean? Here they are. What's good ninjas? This is Syndrome here. Glad to have you back on the channel. This video is really important for me because this was the exercise that actually made me drop out of uni for graphic design. So today, let's give it another go to see if I've improved or maybe I should head back to uni. For a bit of context, I studied graphic design at the Public University of Buenos Aires, which is arguably one of the best of Latin America, if not the world. Actually, right now is ranked at the worldwide within the top uh, 100 universities. But that's it overall. I think for graphic design is ranked even higher. I was blessed enough to be able to go there. It was a tremendous era of my life that I cherish very deeply because I met a bunch of wonderful people and also managed to learn the building blocks that even living early allowed me to to get the fundamentals and really be able to build a graphic design career and live off of that but yeah i won't go super deep into that i leave the uni not uni stuff for another video the exercise at hand the one that we're going to do today now the goal of the exercise at hand it's to make a movie poster that captures the feeling of a movie not its plot or its concept maybe its concept a little bit but the overall feeling that you get from seeing the movie you know like in the most traditional movie posters like the face gallery movie poster they try to showcase the actors but in a way that's already kind of telling you like who the good and the bad guys are you know then we have other ones that are a little bit more literal in its gesture a bit more graphic yeah a bit more minimal but still they are literally telling you the plot of the movie here i'm gonna show you some examples of the graphic like literal ones right Right? the ones we are trying to deviate from split it's literally showing you the personalities of the main character that's splitting him right so this one is really on the nose then we have 24 hour limit making like a clock a literal clock uh, with the shapes again social network the use of social media to convey to convey this meaning big red button for Oppenheimer because of the nuclear bomb just to clarify my guys it's not that the posters that I'm showing you are bad posters they are just not the point of the exercise that we're trying to do now the face gallery poster which i think it's the most overused composition in in the cinema poster industry for example avenger is one of the most high grossing franchises and it uses this poster all the time the goal of the movie is to bring people in and if you have two trillion dollars worth of cast then yeah the marketing department is gonna say to you yeah put chris hemsworth next to scarlett johansson next to yara 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 you know what i mean and try to squish their image as much as they can. So yeah, I guess in that context, then the posters are great. They're bringing people in. But yeah, not as intriguing or interesting visually maybe, but hey, they're just trying to sell to you that movie out, cool fights, you know what I mean? Now the poster we are trying to make is not optimized for selling tickets. It's just uh, an exercise to try to push our lateral and abstract thinking a bit more and try to get into this mindset of Hmm, how can I do this, do that, you know, and try to really try to make the cogs turn to, to make something happen visually that is not overly just, oh, this looks cool, but what does it mean, right? Like more consciously and see how we can use graphic elements and gestures to try to evoke an intentional feeling on the person that's going to watch the poster. Think of it like trying to make a poster that tells what the movie feels like and not what the movie it's about and again guys this is not better or worse it's just a different focus for the sake of making an exercise now i'm going to show you some good examples from the discord channel we did this challenge actually last week each participant picked a movie of their choice here first one we have the midsummer Midsommar is a really strange movie because it would be categorized as a horror movie, let's say, but it's also really disorienting and, and sort of confusing. And this poster, I think, sort of captures that, right? This is the kind of simple gesture and graphic resolution we're trying to, to do here. This one, when I tried to correct it on the Discord, I thought that the door was a bit too literal, right? Because it was exit with the door. But then I noticed the hand that I hadn't realize it before right and it sort of scared me i think it could be maybe realized or finished a bit better but i think the concept and the idea are cool and work this again prestige i didn't see really this one but i was really intrigued by what it meant the gesture of all the doors going inside with the ball that's offset it 
in each interval right i thought it was really cool next we have rush it's a really simple like portrait but the clean focus on the eyes it gives you like this raw sense of competitivity right that i think captures the essence of the movie and the feeling of it like this dead focus like stare mindset interstellar one again really simple this could be worked a bit better but i really like that it's super simple the black background with the dude following in the in the space so this was a really cool use of empty space to try to convey a meaning spirited away poster i really like this one see how it's not showing nothing really that's particularly in the movie but it's sort of giving you a vibe of this ethereal like journey or, or voyage that you're about to make so yeah i guess this one really captures the senses of studio ghibli and its adventurous spirit and all the gorgeousness that's in their pieces so yeah this one's really cool another midsummer one this one i really liked it i don't know how he did the watercolor of it. this is maybe from another thing but the figures at the background they have really odd expressions to them but the water the watercolor gives it that this light and light-hearted vibe that it's kind of misleading like you sort of feel there's something that that's going wrong here that doesn't quite fit that eerie sensation i think that's the thing you get from midsummer that's why i like this one so much all the posters that i'm that i showed you here some of them could be a bit better adjusted in time of, of typography and and whatnot the the grid resolution and all of that but that's not what we are trying to go for here like, if that's not perfect then it's all right it doesn't really matter here we have other examples these are not just from the discord right we have the get out poster i think you, you can get rid of the picture of the protagonist to make it a little bit less literal and more abstract and it would still make sense it would give you this sort of feeling of the movie this one is from uh, weekends i think this is not from a movie but i'm just showing you for reference right what some sort of dissociation or a mood that you can try to communicate with this kind of treatment of the image again this one is a classic because it's super simple also the text log up at the, at the bottom looks amazing with the contrast of the big shape at the top and you get the feeling right from the hair embracing like this cut out shape it's super amazing how it conveys an actual emotion with such a simple thing the Truman show this one also super interesting image maybe it's telling a bit too much of the movie but let's say if you have seen or not seen the movie you get this feeling right of trappedness but it in an odd particular way this one a bit more graphic but i liked it that it's dual and you have like these competing blocks in the composition and then the car that's sort of striking in the middle really taking all the the focal point and this one is a really cool way of showing with a simple graphic resolution how you can convey this sort of meaning right in a simple way this one again see guys how most of these are just really simple gestures that have a really powerful impact because they look so intentional that the meaning of them becomes takes center stage and it's not the actors and, and, and none of that you know it's just the graphic meaning and what it feels like this parasite one i don't know if i love the resolution of the poster the typography and how everything is put together but the idea of her eyesight being occupied in the space by all these other figures i think was an interesting concept to try to convey the meaning of the movie this one also i haven't seen this movie but i i find it super interesting the poster how it's composed right and the, all the cutouts how they fit within the within the main image then we have this one the thing poster i don't know if this one it's a bit too graphic maybe like it's too literal but i got that feeling of maybe because i've seen the movie but i but i got the feeling of being isolated isolated and being really alone in the middle of nothing right and that sort of transmits this idea of fear that they have in the movie okay the ones that i show first from the discord are part of the yearly design challenge that we have going on over there where each week i try to give a small brief for a design exercise so we can all participate and try to hone our skills even further in graphic design i try to jump in and give feedback as much as i can but everyone's really commenting of each other and growing together so yeah it's amazing if you want to join in i leave the link down below now with that context out of the way the challenge for this week that i'm filming this is the same the conceptual movie poster but with movies that are from my choosing right and the ones that i gave to choose were the matrix from 1999 spirited away from studio ghibli inglorious bastards from tarantino big fish akira and transporting now, when I dropped out of uni for this exercise, the teachers had gave me the movie Inglorious Bastards. Let me show you the poster that I did back then. Shit's crazy, you know what I mean? I actually made two, I remember, and here they are. Bruh. 
they are kind of terrible I, I know this one i had this idea i mean the red and the black i think i'm gonna keep that for mine the the one that i'm gonna do now the black and the red but i think the idea here was to make us some sort of parody of the nazis right because they are sort of a joke yeah but as you can see i'm being like it's too complex the idea it's too complex and i'm i'm sort of narrating right the idea of this poster it needs to be an image that's foom a feeling mm, i'm not trying to tell you a story here right like i'm trying to tell you a story for this poster but that's not the point of the exercise maybe this idea could be pushed a bit better in some direction and make a cool poster but this is not it the other one was this there is a scene in the movie that Hans Landa is talking about how the jews would hide beneath the floorboards and act like rats so this one was a way of saying like nah you are the rats or something like that but again i'm narrating i'm trying to tell a story that uh, that again uh, like i said before it's not right or wrong it was just not the point of the exercise you know what i mean that was i think one of the first assignments of the year and yeah the exercise just wasn't clicking i wasn't getting it with today's size i think that the thing that i wasn't getting at least to a really personal degree of like understanding was the movie so let's try to do that again so recently i watched the movie again and something that i got that i didn't last time not last time but at the time of uni right is that we have all these really theatrical scenes in which the characters are all in a sort of power struggle with each other. So the human component and, and all the gestures and all the little details and the stares and the faces of the characters, how they inflect and how they react, it's a major component of the movie because they build up so much tension. Everyone is trying to, to catch each other and, and everyone's stepping on each other's toes. So it's a really sense of hypervigilance that the movie gets and also with the amazing characters and performances performances that really empower it. So I think what I want to do for the poster is something that's going to revolve about around this idea of vigilance and detail and tension, you know? So I think that's a much better thing to try to represent with gesture and with images and composition, right? So let's get it. First, I think I'm going to use a big portrait of the main villain. Yeah, I know I said they did the big villain at the back, but, but this I'm going to try to rely more heavily on the shape and composition rather than the figure of the dude alone you know actually funny enough there's not a lot of good quality pictures i would this one i feel like funny enough i looked for hans landa wallpaper and then it took me to a wallpaper page that has like this screen cap of the scene that i wanted in better resolution <laughs> Okay, guys i finally managed it took me a while i wanted to convey the idea of persecution and tension that goes through the entire movie you know in most of the most impressive scenes on, of the movie everyone is sort of seeing who slips in blows the cover you know and this idea of tension you get from a big conversation them being really attentive to every character's like little details you know see if in, if they can spot it so i think this poster sort of portrays this idea really well 
also managed to make a, a real powerful center point, the eye of the figure on the background, which is Hans Landa, and everything sort of converging to that spot. And some of the stairs and the looks look in other directions, just to add a bit of variety, you know, and, and give some more hierarchy to different directions. I really like it. Now it's time to finish it. We need to add the title lockup, and I'm really lazy about the building block, but it's something that really gives it that character of movie poster. And when you watch it, you see it, you immediately know this is a movie poster, you know? It's one of those things that really give it that movie poster character. So let's get it. guys i'm finished here's the final result i love it i love it i'm not gonna lie my guys I, th I think i really accomplished to portray the emotion that i was going for it's really brutal but at the same time it has a really nice focal point and you can sort of feel this tension at the beginning i was going to do the inglorious bastard like centered right but i figured it would be cool to justify it to one side and, and use that same grid line to reinforce the direction to the eye of the character on the back right and i think it plays really Really nice with all the eyes sort of looking in sort of that direction you get that violence from the movie and at the same time the tension so yeah i'm really proud of myself let me put the one that i did years back and the one from now so you can see the before and after so yeah really crazy i think i, I think i nailed it in this one i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna play it humble i think this one's really cool i really like it i'm not gonna lie i feel like i got a weight out of my shoulders i remember every time i see that movie from time to time i always watch it and i'm like shit one day i'll make it right you know and today's that day and you've been a part of it thank you so much i highly encourage you to give it a go pick a movie you like try to make a poster of this sort if you're just starting out this exercise is on the harder side i know it's a tremendous exercise to try to get the gist of conceptual thinking and if you're a more seasoned designer or with more experience then it's like a nice heavy bench press or a nice heavy squat you know it's solid exercise so give it a go i would love to see what you make post it online, tag me in any of my socials at Design Syndrome or put it up in the Discord, in the feedback channel. I'll be sure to give it a look and maybe give some feedback. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the notify bell button below so you don't miss any of the future videos coming your way on graphic design, art, living as a creative nowadays. I have a bunch of content ideas coming on so you don't wanna miss those. And if you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you these videos, hop into the store, grab a texture or anything really. I have also a bunch of free stuff down there so link below. That was everything, hope you liked it. Hopefully you learned something. You already know my shit, self-discovery, detach from the result, process, process, process. See you on the next one. Fuck peace, wish you conflict. Thank you.